Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where we have a test rig that we've put together to test the oil pump. The reason that we're doing this was that over the, the break, Bob as always is milling things over and thinking about what about this, what about that. Uh, I don't think his brain ever stops working uh, even when he's asleep. And he, and he raised a concern that what we're asking this Norton oil pump to do is to scavenge oil over the distance between that hole there and the back of the pump now in the standard Norton motorcycle the original pump in the original engine is scavenging oil from approximately half that distance vertically uh, and Bob's concern was well if we're not driving this pump fast enough then it won't be scavenging the oil um, enough and we'll have too much oil in the bottom of the crankcase and it will uh, find its way past the piston rings the whole engine will smoke it won't be very efficient and that i've got to say that would be really disappointing if that was the case because it would all be together it would all be fired up and running and then you'd have an oiling problem and you'd have to pull it all apart again so testing this first is a great idea the plan to test it first of all bob's got this piece of uh, scrap billet aluminium um, that's been you know chewed around for other various jobs mounted the pump to it drilled the the pickup and the holes through so that this this is a representative oil way of what we're going to use in the final engine and on the back of here the output from the pump that is a return to the oil tank will be out of one of those holes there it's not not easy to see those from this angle but the, what one of these holes here is the output from the pump so as long as we've seen the oil dribbling through there and it is able to to draw oil up from this height then we know we haven't got a problem Problem. Now, the engine at the tick over, let's say it's going to do approximately 1000 RPM, uh, hopefully a bit less. This is a five to one reduction. So the engine that the pump itself will be turning at 200 RPM. It's driven off a worm and a wheel, and that's driven on the end of the crankshaft here. So there's there's the, wor the, the wheel, this is the worm, or the other way around. Um, and we're asking this pump here to scavenge over this distance here from the bottom of the crankcase and on a standard Norton I guess the scavenge hole would be about here and it's just a, everything's a bit smaller isn't it so so that's what we want to test it's a great little um, device that, that Bob's come up with to clamp it all down and what we plan to do is to rotate the whole head of the Chester mill so that this is in line with here so there's no additional load on the bearings of the pump or the bearings in here and when we drive this this is going the opposite direction as the the mill of course because nothing's easy is it so what what we're going to do just as a very very temporary um, running thing is to just put a twist in one of the belts and that will reverse the direction rotation not best practice i know um, but we're not running it for anything more than sort of 10 15 20 seconds so i don't see that being a massive problem uh, and just to keep these belts from from scarring over one another bob's made a tin thing that will go in between the belts and sit across there so that that will hold the belts apart if it goes in that gap between the belts and just make sure that it isn't a problem. So we're looking forward to uh, having that up and running soon and testing it. So while Bob continues with that, I continue with the oil tank uh, and both of us are making good progress on the little jobs. Every, every little job um, could become potentially a big job and it's all part of making an engine that you have to think of absolutely everything. If you're not sure about something, you have to test it and that's, that's why when people ask have you got it running yet this is why because there is a fair bit to it anyway as usual um thank you for watching more updates will follow and when this is running i'll post an update with this pump being spun round and the oil going round and let you know if we need to do something about it oh that's one last thing to mention is that if at 200 rpm this isn't running fast enough to draw the oil up we can change the speed on the mill looking at the plate here so we can select a different speed by changing the the pulleys on the mill and find out at what speed we do need to run the pump to withdraw the oil and then we can change the worm and the wheel gears with a set of skew gears um, without too much difficulty so by doing so that would give us perhaps you know two and a half to one reduction ratio or a one to one even if we needed to so so we can drive the pump at relative 
different speeds relative to the engine uh, if we need to. So that's it. I'll post more updates as and when this is uh, operational. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.